All right, then let's go ahead and jump into um, talking a little bit about gift entry. Um, and probably the easiest way to do that is to actually just go ahead and enter a gift from the constituent record. Um, there's a lot of ways in which you can enter a gift. Um, you can do that right in the fundraising tab. You probably noticed the Add a Gift button on the dashboard screen. Best practice I usually like to think is to search for the constituent and, and ensure that you're attaching the gift to the correct constituent first. Sometimes it's not unusual to have constituents that have the same name in your database. You want to make sure the gift is getting credited correctly. Um, mm -hmm. So I usually search for that constituent first. Um, and um, and pull them up. Um, usually make some edits because there's usually some information in that on that check or information that I want to be able to track that I want to update the record. And then I can go right to this Add a Gift button here in the Giving Summary section. When I do that, I am prompted to determine if I want to add a gift, a pledge, or an in-kind gift. So LGL does help you to manage um, different kinds of gift um, and donations. So they can be a gift, a monetary gift, or it could be a pledge to give a gift in, in the future, or you can also track in-kind uh, type of gifts. Now ultimately the gift screen for each of them are fairly similar. There's just a few differences, but let's go ahead and start with um, entering um, a regular gift and you can kind of see what's involved there and we can talk about um, setting up a pledge with installments next. All right, so this is the gift information screen and little green light. Um, when you have a constituent who has an open pledge um, goal or an installment already set up in the system, you'll actually get this box. Um, otherwise, the box wouldn't be here. When I click on the um, open to open the box, I can see that there's actually quite a few pledges and goals um, that have been put in the system to be paid. So if this gift um, was for one of these open pledges, um, I could attach this gift to those by just choosing it. So I could set this um, pledge to this goal if I want and say he gave all 500 um, and then mark the goal as complete. Choose the payment type. Um, if I want to put in a reference number, I can. I don't need to. And the gift date. And if the deposit date is, happens to be different than the gift date, you can identify that as well. Um, you can actually attach a gift to um, a campaign, fund, appeal, or an event, um, or all, any or all of those if you want to. And you can even assign which team member may, may have been responsible for helping to bring in that gift. You have the ability to also put in a note um, or a description if it's applicable. Um, and you can then easily then set up um, an acknowledgement to event for this gift as well um, by using an appropriate acknowledgement template that you had previously uploaded. So let's just say this was an in memory of type gift and so it's going to the memorial fund, so that's the template we'd want to use. Um, and I can also set up rated gifts. So given that this was to the memorial fund, maybe it was made to a particular person. Um, and in this case, I would say that maybe uh, Susan would be appropriate since she um, is deceased. So we want to add this gift in memory of her. So I can do that and show the amount. And also, if I needed to um, set up a specific letter template, maybe that would go to Susan's family if it were different than the donor. I could do that here as well. 